Okay, this is <clears throat> my review of the Model 980 Breast Binder for Tea Kingdom. Um, I actually ordered this in a medium because a lot of my binders from them are just a little bit on the big size since I've been losing weight lately, and this turned out to be a mistake. I'll go into that in more details later. The current price on it is uh, 36 US dollars. Um, I would say that it's a very good price for the quality of the binder. This is a, a, a long cut binder with only binding material on the top half and the bottom half is like softer. It has no zippers, no Velcro. It would be very comfortable if it actually fit me properly. Um, I'll go ahead and show it off for a sec here. And this is the binder. It doesn't look too hot without a shirt on because it's too small for me. But with a shirt on it actually looks pretty decent. Um, Again, it would probably be a lot better if it actually fit me, but it doesn't. Here it is with a shirt on. It's pretty comfy, nice flat profile. Um, it bridges the gap between like the breast issue, breast tissue, and the ribs really well because it's a got a stiffer front material. So even with a pretty tight shirt on, you don't see too much. Um, my complaint with this is, and you might actually be able to see this right in here, this is the edge of the binder. Um, getting it in a smaller size didn't really make it hug my ribs any better. Um, all it did was make it cut really low. Like, my, my boobs just really hang out the sides no matter how I adjust them. So if you're my size, order this in a large. Don't order a medium. They are supposed to fit loose and comfortably, um, most of the binding properties of stuff from Tea Kingdom is in its ability to kind of flatten out and smooth the lines. It's thicker material again. Is in its ability to smooth out those lines so they don't show, not in crushing it against your body like stuff from Underworks is. So, if it feels like it's too loose, try it with a shirt on, you know, wear it for a little while and then make your decision because it's not supposed to crush you. You you can still breathe. You know, they're they're actually really nice binders. Um, again, if you're my size, order a large. Don't try to get for a smaller size because it's just not going to work anymore. If you have problems with these binders, you feel like you're falling out of them, you may have just ordered a size too small. So really stick to their sizing charts. <laughs> um, when I have worn it, I've worn it with... Uh, like a tight, really tight shirt underneath it to try and hold this in on the sides, and it's actually been relatively comfortable. Um, uh, because it doesn't have any zippers or any Velcro or anything, it seems like a really good choice if you just need a comfortable t-shirt style binder, you know, well, I should say tank top style binder that may show underneath other clothing, like if you're wearing, um, like a wife beater that's cut low on the side, if this were up here like it's supposed to be, it just, it looks just like an undershirt, it really does. It's, it would be really super comfortable. Um, so if you're a big stickler about not wanting to have seams or Velcro or zippers showing or anything, I would definitely recommend this binder to you. But if you li live and work in really hot places, don't get this one because it's, it's full length. And this material is not a nice, happy, breathable cotton. This is like a, it's very, very soft on the inside, but it's it's thick. You, you're you're going to sweat your ass off in this, and it's not going to be that comfy. So if you live in a cooler climate, or you work indoors in climate control, or you don't mind sweating, or you're going to be sweating ridiculously anyway, this would be a very nice binder. Um, as usual, customer service from them is great. Lightning fast shipping, etc., etc.